In the town of California, many trade the golden arches for some homemade grub at the Knickknack Cafe. Have a good day, girl. It's laughter that fills customers' cups. I ain't sure you want that on film, do you? <laughs> Large personalities come to mingle. I'm a troublemaker. Well, I'm not going to admit I am. <laughs> and giant hearts come to show they care. If they don't show up, we go looking for them to make sure they're okay. They do. But the one character who serves the most generous portion <laughs> is the smallest of them all. I think I weighed like four pounds when I was born, so it started out teeny and then tiny. At the Knickknack Cafe, Tiny they Walters added it on over is the here. secret ingredient. She's been in the mix since 1949. 13 years old. For more than 60 years, Tiny's made Knickknack snacks. Usually in the kitchen, doing a little prep work, giving them trouble. <laughs> Nearly 40 of those years, she owned the cafe. It's one of the best bosses I ever had in my life. And even after selling it in 1999, she can't seem to get away. Well, if I didn't come up here every day, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd really miss it. And customers like it that way. The food had to be good, and she had to be a good one, or I wouldn't have come back. <laughs> While the Knickknack Cafe has been this woman's constant, I guess it just gets in your blood. <laughs> life still found a way to deliver a tall order. She was originally diagnosed in 2008 um, with esophageal cancer. When they told you, told us that she only had three months to live. That was the hardest part. She traveled to MD Anderson in Houston, Texas for help and a second opinion. At this point, after all those years of serving her neighbors at the Knickknack, it was time for the folks at the Knickknack to serve her. We had an auction, a benefit auction, and served food and stuff and uh, raised some money to help her. Tiny's team made a big difference when it raised $9,000 to help her pay her medical bills and travel expenses. But everybody is so nice and understanding, and you couldn't ask for a better bunch. I think we're lucky to have her. Mm -hmm. You could call this a David and Goliath story. So far, she's had clear checkups. Where three months of life turned into four years. The previous cancer has not shown up again since 2008. And counting. It's a miracle. She's still here. She's strong. She's a fighter. I don't know what we do without the knickknack. Yeah. Really, I don't. Uh. And the knickknack doesn't know what it would do without its tiny bit of special spice. And she does make good pie. Good to see you. With videographer Scott Schaefer. Good to see you, John. Emily Spain, KOMU 8 News, California.